Hi, and thanks for logging on to the Daily Dvar Halacha. And here's a brand new Halacha for you. And it's for Thursday, the third day of April. Here we go. Okay, you've probably heard of the general rule of the Gemara, which is that if you find chametz, you were a good person, you did all your searching and all your cleaning and all the good stuff, and then you reached into a coat pocket and you should have checked and whatever, it happened, and there's like a half a bag of bagel chips sitting in your coat pocket. And it's the middle of Pesach. What should you do? So the Gemara says that in situations like that, you burn the chametz. But don't tune out, because in most situations, that's not what you're going to end up doing. I'll tell you why. You see, that is for the normal circumstance, which often doesn't apply to you and I. You find chametz, you're not supposed to own it, you get rid of it on Pesach. But you and I, uh, most of us, have sold our chametz over Pesach, and that means that our chametz now belongs to a non-Jew, and he owns those bagel chips that are in your coat pocket. Seriously, I'm not kidding around. You sold your chametz. And now the chametz, you found it, it's in your coat pocket, and um, and you're not allowed to burn it because you don't actually own it. So if this happened in the middle of Chol HaMoed, when there are no additional problems with handling that chametz, then the best thing to do, it's going to surprise you, is to take that bag of bagel chips and take them right to the closet where all the chametz is that you sold to the non-Jew and put it in there and leave it in there locked up until after Pesach because the non-Jew owns it and that's where you kept all the chametz that the non-Jew owned and inadvertently one bag of it was in your coat pocket you take it to that closet, you put it in the closet, you leave it locked up the way it's supposed to be and it, it belongs to the non-Jew for the rest of Pesach. It belonged to him anyway, you're just putting it in the closet where he's been keeping all of his stuff. Okay, that's for that situation now, but if you found it in the middle of Yom Tov, then it's different because on Yom Tov it's Mutza, it has no Pesach purpose whatsoever and you're not allowed to really be handling it. Best situation there would be to just somehow cover it up, put it out of sight, out of mind, out of touch, out of movement, and have it just covered. And then on Chal HaMoed, when Yom Tov is over and the Mutza is not a problem anymore, then you take it to the closet and put it with all of the non-Jews chametz. Uh, and you leave it there. And then you might be smart and wondering, what do I do with that bag of bagel chips when Pesach is over? Can I eat it when I buy back all of my chametz from the non-Jew? And the answer is yes. It's part of all the chametz that you sold to the non-Jew. And now uh, the non-Jew, after Pesach, uh, through the rabbi's arrangement, has allowed you to reacquire it. So it's chametz that you did not own over Pesach. And now you could freely eat it the way you eat all of the chametz that was in that closet over Pesach. If this raises any issues or you don't really sell your real chametz or, you know, different things apply to you, by all means talk to your rabbi about it. But these are kind of the basics for that situation. Thanks for logging on. Log on again tomorrow as usual for more. Bye-bye.